I'd like to dedicate this video to Cooter, Mr. Ben Jones. Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu. And I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Are you looking for a great gift idea for someone on your shopping list? Today, we will be looking at Cooter's pickup truck from the Dukes of Hazzard, made by MPC. This one is a really rare model kit. I do not have this in stock. This is on loan from my good friend James. You can see all of our available model kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca. I will leave a link in the description below. Now let's go down to our bench and see what's in the box. Now tonight we're going right back down to Hazard County where we're going to check out Cooter's Tow Truck. Howdy y'all! Now this model kit came out in the year of our Lord 1981, right in the golden age of television. It's based on an earlier model kit which came out in 1972. And this model kit was redressed for the TV show The Dukes of Hazard in 1981. And this model comes with a detailed V8 engine, colorful decals, dual rear tires, complete chassis, and a fully detailed towing rig. Now according to the box, this model is shown in the actual size, right on the side of the box right here. And now let's take the lid off this truck and see what we got on the inside. So right away we've got our instruction sheets. Then we have all our parts in a plastic bag. Here we've got our chrome. Then we've got our glass pieces in another bag, because this is an older kit, of course. Then we've got a jack stand here. Looks like a leg came off. We've got our decals, an axle, and our other jack stand. Right here we got our Cooter's Tow Truck Dukes of Hazard instruction sheet. Now we'll start our adventure right here with our engine block. We got our right and left hand side with the transmission molded in place. Our cylinder heads, intake manifold, starter motor, chrome oil pan, and chrome front cover. In fact, the manifold is chrome too. We continue our Chevy with panel number two, where now we've got the carburetor going in place, as well as this air cleaner, our coil, our distributor, and our 350 valve covers, as well as an oil filter hiding down here. In panel three, we finish our mighty fine Chevrolet motor by putting on the exhaust manifolds, our belts and pulleys, the alternator, and our fan. The interior is quite simple as well. We have our interior molded as a one solid bucket with the bench seat inside, as well as our dashboard and our steering wheel with the steering column. Keeping alive for panel five, we've got our wheels going on. So here's the front with our hubcap, our tire and our wheel back. And out in the back, we've got our wheel back and two tires with this great big extension piece in the middle for our dualies, as well as the front hubcap. Now if we look at right here in panel 6, we've got the body with the color scheme going on, as well as our radiator which pops right in the front on the radiator wall support. Panel 7 has the body dropping on the glass in our assembled interior, as well as the front bumper going on, and a chrome gas cap right for the side of the body. Here's the bed of our tow truck with the floor, the front wall, the two sides, and our steps going up into the back. Panel 9 is looking super fine with our one-piece molded chassis, our wheels and the metal axles going through to make us mobile on the road. In panel 10, we do it again. We've got our chassis going on here and our engine drops in place. There's a little piece of exhaust pipe here that will hook up. And then we've got our cab dropping on and the back of our truck going in place. Now we need to assemble the winch and that would be panel 11 with our two sides going together. There's a pulley for the winch and our hook. You'll need some thread in here 
And this is our winding mechanism, so remember to tie a really good knot right in here and right over here so that they don't come apart when you wind them up. Now panel 12 has our winch and the rails going in place as well as all our tow bars and accessories and then here we've got our exhaust dumps coming out the side. Now we got all the CUDA's tools going on to the truck. So here we've got a toolbox with a bunch of tools going inside for some smaller tools. Here we've got our fire extinguisher. We've got a big hammer right here, a deadweight hammer. And then we've got our jacks and jack stands. Panel 14 shows our hood dropping in place, as well as our spotlights, one for each side. There's the upper radiator hose, and here we've got our grill. Remember to paint on that Chevy bow tie emblem. And then here we've got our wooden bumper going right in place. Now panel 15, we got our signal lights going on here, little fog lights and things, as well as our side view mirrors. Now no Duke's Boys truck would be complete without the flag the signal lights, the rear tail lamps, and of course the Hazard County garage decal that goes right on the door so that you know that this is Cuda's pickup truck. Here we have all the white components for Cuda's tow truck. Now here we have the cab of our pickup truck and as you can see there's nothing quite as crisp as an early run casting of the kit and if we just turn it up here we can see the nice detail of the door handles and all the chrome trim along the side. There's a bit of a sinkhole here just above our turn signal lamp. If you look underneath here, we've got our sun visors and there's a little bit of sink marks down under here. You should get rid of with your number 16 hobby blade. Looking at the front, there's nice radiator detail inside this radiator wall here. And if you take a look, you got your nice aprons here. Battery molded in place. Again, the nice vents where the windshield wipers are and overall I would say this is a really excellent looking body. In this kit the hood has detached from the sprue runners and as you can see it's pretty basic on the top. If we turn it over you can see a lot of mold marks underneath but it should fit nicely into the cab. The interior of our cab is of the bucket variety. There is mold marks in the carpet there are some nice pedals installed, as well as our bucket seats and a center console and the door panels. Now, if we take an up-close and personal look, you can see the nice upholstery pattern right there on those seats. The detail is quite crisp on this kit, but again, it's an earlier edition. The back, bit of flash around there, but overall, pretty decent. Carrying on with the interior, we've got our dashboard panel here with our instrument cluster as well as our radio. And here you can put in some wood grain and make this thing look really nice. Down here we've got our exhaust manifolds as well as a radiator hose. Our steering wheel is quite nice and as you can see it's got the Chevy logo inside on the steering wheel arms. On this parts tree we have our wooden bumper our cylinder heads, the fan belt and pulley, as well as our engine and transmission halves, and the oil filter. Now here we got our accessories for our pickup truck. And as you can see, there's a lot going on here. We got a toolbox, a starter motor. Here's some of those lights. There's the jack. There's our rails, our hook, fire extinguisher and two halves, and our truck mirrors, as well as our big sledgehammer here. Then we've got our exhaust pipes that go off the manifolds, and this here is the stand for this here. Now right here we got our chassis going on. As you can see it's pretty simple, straightforward. Not much to see here, not much to tell. The spare tires molded right in underneath, and we got our rear axle. Now you may recognize this chassis of course from the wedge truck, as well as the fleet line, and it is the same chassis. Underneath, a couple of pins and whatnot to hold things all together. And we've also got a few sink marks in here. Now I was looking on the chassis here and I discovered a stamp that says Fun Dimensions 1981. So you know this here kit is old. Now right here we got a truck floor bed as well as the sides. These are the extensions for the dualies off the back. All of these round circles here are wheel backs 
as well as we got a toolbox top and a ratchet. Bringing this up into the camera, you can see the nice bolts and the pattern off the back. Turning it over, there's a couple of mold marks, sink marks, that'll have to be filled with your favorite putty. But you can see that it is a real treat. And then over here, there's the back of our bed sides. You can see the nice detail off the wheels and plenty of mold marks. Just to clean up with your number 16 hobby blade. Finally, for our white components, we've got our crane here, both sides, as well as the steps for on the back of our truck bed, and we've got our side exhaust pipes right here. Now I'll just move this stuff out of the way for a sec, and we can take a look at the detail on our side pipes. And as you can see, the detail is quite nice and quite crisp. We do have a little bit of checker plate on the back of this step, which I'm having difficulty trying to read in the camera, but that's the remainder of the white components. Next up, we've got the chrome components right here, and as you can see, there is quite a lot to them. Now take a look at that beautiful grill right there with the Chevrolet emblem in it. You gotta paint that just right. Headlights are molded in, which you can tint up a bit. And then right here, we got our hubcaps, the steel wheels for our Chevy. Follow it up with these nice chrome engine accessories and fan, and even the oil pan. Right here, we got all Akuda's tools, hammer, screwdriver, wrench. Then we got our chrome lights and all our truck accessories. And this little jewel right here is our air cleaner. And right here, we've got our only two clear plastic components. Transparent red flasher light for when you're in distress, as well as our windshield and rear glass. And you know this is an old kit when you see right here that we've got the runners going from front to back, bridging that clear plastic. Now these tires right here are actually the four rear tires. These are Goodyear Permacord Suburbanites. And they are 8.45 to 15 four-ply tires right here. Now, James, I did notice something. You have the two front tires missing over here. So, just to show you my southern hospitality, I'm going to throw in these Goodyear Super Speedway tires, which I believe are the right type of tires that you need right here. Now, they got the white walls on one side and the black wall on the other. So I think you want the black wall side out and the white wall side turned in. Anyway, there's some nice tires that come with this kit. Finally, we got our Warner Brothers approved Dukes of Hazard official Hazard County Garage Cooters Tow Truck Service decal sheet with the flag right here as well. Now these decals must be original. They look really dirty. I hope they'll still work for your truck there, James. But at any rate, that's how they looked back in the day, and this is how they look today. And that completes our look right here at the Cooters Tow Truck. This has been Boss Hog talking to y'all, and now I'm after me to get some Duke Boys. You coming, Roscoe? A coo coo coo. All right, let's head out. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that great unboxing of an old Dukes of Hazzard model kit. And it was really cool that I actually got to meet Cooter back in the past at a World's Wheels show. And I got him to autograph a whole bunch of my own personal Dukes of Hazzard model kits, as well as a picture that says, Howdy y'all from Cooter. Tune in next week when we open up the lid on another great model kit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Hit that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first to see it. And until next time, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. 
pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you are the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.